So how did the tiny island of Cuba defeat a US invasion in just three days? On this day in 1961, the US government launched the Bay of Pigs invasion to crush the new revolution, but failed spectacularly. Two years prior, the Cuban people had overthrown the US-backed dictator Fulgencio Batista and swept Fidel Castro to power. Before the revolution, the US treated Cuba and its people as a colony, a playground for gangsters, wealthy Americans, and the corrupt Cuban elite. The majority of Cubans lived in abject poverty and had little access to health care and illiteracy plagued the country. So with the triumph of the revolution, Castro nationalized foreign industry and started to build socialism on the island, a massive blow to the US, which not only lost its businesses and property, but now had an ally to the Soviet Union right on its doorstep. The US government imposed a sweeping economic blockade and he also began funding and training a unit of 1,500 soldiers comprised mostly of right-wing Cubans who had fled the revolution along with some US military personnel. President Kennedy approved the mission and on the night of April 17th, they attacked the southwest beach of Cuba. At 3 a.m. on April 17th, the local committee for the defense of the revolution, which are essentially neighborhood revolutionary committees, spotted the US ships and immediately alerted the authorities. Now, Fidel Castro had already ordered that the Cuban people be given arms and weapons training so as to defend the revolution. He took personal control of the operation and the local revolutionary militias took up arms and joined the Cuban army. Then Fidel used out of service military planes as a decoy and then came out all guns blazing with the Air Force and immediately sunk two of the invading army's ships. Cuban military, police and civilian forces then pounded the remaining invaders. The victory is not possible without the revolutionary militias that were ready on every beach that day, while Fidel himself was manning one of the tanks. And more importantly, the US invaders lost the element of surprise because local workers of the Committee for the Defense of the Revolution raised the alarm before the police or military knew anything. So within 72 hours, the badly outnumbered US invaders were overwhelmed and defeated. 114 were killed and 1,100 were taken prisoner. 